Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Caitlin. I'm a holistic nutrition consultant and I'm the owner of grassfedgrill.com, which is a wellness website. If you don't know my story, I've been working on healing my Hashimoto's for the past 10 years and it's going really well. Most recently I've done the carnivore diet and it's really helped in a very quickly. So I mostly talk about the carnivore diet and holistic lifestyles. So if that's interesting to you, please subscribe, like my video, share with a friend. It really helps me out. So today we're going to be talking about three new ways to lose weight. A lot of people write me that they're frustrated, that they can't lose any weight, they don't know why. So we're going to go over three new ways to lose weight today. And it's not going to be cut your macros, count your calories, eat less. So don't worry, none of those are going to be talked about today. So make sure and stay to the end to watch all three ways that don't include counting calories. Tell me down below which of the three you have tried and how they worked. I quickly want to say that usually there is a huge stress component. When people tell me that they uh, can't lose weight, I always say, well, what are you going through? What is your life like right now? And they tell me some terrible sob story about things going wrong in their life and I'm like, you know what, maybe that's not the right time for you to try to lose weight. You gotta change some things in your life first, get stabilized. You know, if you don't have a place to live, you don't have food to eat, if you know, you're having a terrible thing going on in your life, like your kid is on drugs or something, just anything like that. I mean, it's gonna be hard for your body to release weight when you have so much going on. Just try to get through that and then maybe think about your own health. <laughs> Okay, now that we have that out of the way, the first one I would say is eat more. So if you're doing the carnivore diet and you know, a lot of people come into the carnivore diet with this idea that they're going to do it the same way they used to eat, but just uh, eat meat. And the thing is they usually don't eat enough. So, you know, maybe a woman, most of the people watching my channel are women. So if you've got, come into your, from your old diet where you ate maybe 12, 1500 calories and you try to come into carnivore and right away you're back on the same thing, eating 1200 calories, measuring out your little teaspoon or tablespoon of butter, it's not gonna work. You are not doing carnivore. Uh, you need to eat till you're very, very full, especially the first month or so. And you are probably messing that up. So don't try to restrict your food. And you know, I wanted to give this example. A few weeks ago, I went to Florida, went on vacation with my family, and uh, we went to several buffets. I ate a whole, whole lot because um, it was expensive, so I wanted to get as much as I could. And when I came home, I had lost two pounds. So I don't know if that was the vacation or the excessive amounts of food, but just to say, I don't think you can really gain too much weight on the carnivore diet as long as you're eating carnivore foods, which is all foods from an animal source. Okay, the second way to lose weight, now I haven't actually never done this, but I think that it would work, is to eat beef and water only. So I know it's not very, doesn't sound very fun, but um, this would limit the amount of extra fat you could use because you could only use the beef, uh, the fat that's on the beef, or you could eat beef tallow or beef um, like trimmings, which is called suet. Um, but most people just can e easily eat a lot more dairy and butter and things like that. It's much better than suet because it's just not as good, but I have really never tried it. So um, another thing is people have often a sensitivity to dairy and eggs. So those are two highly allergenic sensitive foods. So if you have eaten those a lot, then you might be stalling in weight loss because when you have inflammatory foods for your body, it will cause you to retain water and swell up and that will cause you to gain weight. So the third thing we're gonna talk about today is electrolytes. Now, if electrolytes are lacking, they can make you crave sweets and treats and that can derail your carnivore diet. So yesterday I had this same problem. I forgot to take my salt, forgot to take my electrolytes and I was craving like, pancakes and I was thinking about all the things I could make that would quench my craving and I was just like I want something sweet I want carbs uh, and I just kept going around and around and then come to find out I hadn't taken my electrolytes and you know once I did I was much better off so 
you want to make sure your electrolytes are in balance. This is the electrolytes that I like. You can get the unflavored if you don't want the stevia and I've been using uh, the unflavored for a while. Um, this is the lemon lime. This is actually my very most favorite flavor. You can save with my code grassfedgirl in the description box. There's also a link in my uh, blog that has a recipe where you can make your own. So don't think you have to buy this. You can make your own very cheaply. Um, it's just a little more work. Uh, and this one is all very balanced and I love this flavor and taste and you can't taste the salt in it. So if you're new to carnivore, this will really help you out with the transition. So make sure you get your electrolytes. You can save with the gra code grassfedgirl down in the description box and make sure and use my link and save 15% off. Electrolytes are just so crucial. And if you're not balancing those, then you are not going to feel your best. You're gonna feel tired, lethargic, and you're gonna be craving uh, sweets and treats. So make sure and take notice of that. And if you keep your electrolytes up, then you will be able to stay on carnivore long-term and you will be able to lose weight. You wanna eat more if you haven't tried that. You want to balance your electrolytes and you want to also try the beef and water only. That could break a stall as well. So I may be trying it soon. I will let you know. If I do that, I will have a challenge here on YouTube and Instagram and we can do beef and water together and suffer through it. I might do beef water coffee. I don't know if I could do beef and water only. I drink decaf, but I still have to have it every morning. And if you don't know, I have a little seven month old, eight months old soon. So um, I have to have my coffee in the morning. But um, I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like my video. Let me know what you want the next video to be about. It really helps me out. And if you haven't gotten my carnivore ebook, you can get it with um, down in the description box. It's called the 30 day carnivore diet challenge. It can really help you on the right track with carnivore. There's a lot of misleading information and misinformation on the internet about how to do carnivore. So I wrote a 182 page guide on how to do it right. So please let me know if you got my ebook and if it helped you. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm here at the Korean barbecue and I'm so excited because I'm gonna cook all this stuff. It's so cool. He's playing in the grass and it's fun, it's nice and pretty. It's